Hey guys, I'm Cody, the editor behind Past Life Pro, and to continue on with my shader tutorials, I thought we'd take a look at motion blur in the SUSE V10.2 Preview 1 Ultra. So, let's get down to it. Alright, have the SUSE shader unzipped and ready to work with on the desktop. Double click the folder, double click the shaders folder, and locate final.fsh using Notepad++. Open it up. From here, scroll way down to line 878. So that we can have motion blur show up in game, we would need to remove the two beginning slashes. So, let's do just that. Now, there is a reason there's more to this tutorial, and I'm sure you can understand why. Back when I first figured out that motion blur was possible in the V10.2, I was wholeheartedly stumped because I couldn't figure out a way to fix these white pixelated edges that appear when you turn your head. Well, until now. Let's get this sorted out. Scroll back up to line 350. Before we change anything, I must warn you that there is a trade-off with this adjustment. At the expense of removing the whites from the corners, you will have a shader that looks just a tad bit darker which I think is a worthy bargain, and you'll see why after this code change. Remove zero, and change it to one. All right, here's the last thing I wanna show you. Line 348. This value is what will allow you to adjust how much motion blur is in the final product. As usual, larger numbers increase the blurring, whereas smaller numbers understandably decrease it. For my taste, I'm going to go for a slightly more subtle blurring, so I'm going to change the value to 0.4f. Save, and let's check this out in Minecraft. If this how-to motion blur tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys.